Hey guys, how's everyone doing? My name is Super Navy Tech, and today we've got some Modern Warfare 3, some domination. And first of all, I'd just like to explain Minecraft takes two. Uh, the video should be out episode three, really Friday. But I don't know. I think YouTube personally hates me because they've let me upload videos over 50 minutes long, but they keep taking a 17-minute video down because it's too long. Even though I've uploaded videos like 26 minutes long, I don't get it. But it hates me, and so does my headset, apparently, because it won't give me a break, and it keeps on being stupid. I keep, I, if I talk to a subscriber in a party or something, it will just go crazy, and I, I hate it. Um, I'm still not feeling well. You might be thinking, I didn't really know you weren't well. Well, I've uploaded like a load of, not uploaded, but I've made a load of Minecraft videos, and in them I've not been well. But I'm, I'm getting better now, and I got a commentary for you today. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And today I'm doing like another video response. I kind of, I, I enjoy doing video responses. It's like my Minecraft YouTube is a community, and it's like a community of where you know, like if someone does a video and they will ask people to answer questions or whatever, you know, I'll be helping them out by doing a video response or anyone who does a video response because I'll be answering the question. It also helps me out because then. You know, people see the video, you know, that person will see the video, and, you know, it all just works like that. I'm not being, my headset's being a douchebag, but I'm not being a douchebag just from doing a video response. I can't stand my headset, people! Someone buy me a new one, please. Um, I'm not even going to move, I'm just going to sit here. Uh, but today I'm doing a video response from a guy called Marcus Butler, and he's British, which is which is good. Um, but he does, he's a vlogging channel, he's a vlogger, if that sounds nice <laughs> um, but he does vlogs of where he just talks about different things he posts on a Sunday and I just watched his video talking about awkward times in the toilets and like it's not very often where I have a video well I, I watch a video and I've like pretty much got a constant smile on my face there's not very mu much that happens if that makes sense but with his video you know I, I did I actually really enjoyed it so if you're watching this Mark as well done and I just moved my head. I deserve that. This little static of heads. I'm going to move on because anyways, I'm just going to upset myself. Uh, but yeah, he was talking about awkward times in the toilets. And it just made me like think of different things when I'm in the toilet. And um, <laughs> it's just, just really random, isn't it? Makes me think of different things when I'm in the toilet. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to relate some experiences myself. And just like kind of talk about awkward times which I or, or, and or you are familiar with. Uh, but the th things I just hate about when you go into the toilets is like you walk in there and the perfect scenario is there's no one in there like that's with me anyway when there's no one in that toilet apart from you not I'm on about like the urinal area now not the cubicles if you if you're in a cubicle with another person that that's just wrong you should really see a doctor or a psychiatrist about your mentality um, <laughs> But yeah, my perfect situation is when there's no one in there, it's just me, because then it's just less awkward, and I just feel like I need to get on with my life. Um, not like I'm embarrassed about it, I'm going to move on from that subject as well, because that's a, that's a different video. <laughs> not like I'm going to do a video, I just, oh my goodness, this is terrible. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's one time where like I go into a toilet and there'll be no one in there, and I think, I need a pee, or I don't really need a pee, but we're going on a drive and I need to go now. Anyways, we'll be in the mood to win. I go, I need a pee. And they go, why didn't you go before? I was like, Mom, I didn't need to go then. <laughs> um, but there's times where you go in there and you go to the urinal and you think, you know what, That's, this is cool. But it's not cool, but, you know, I can, I can deal with this. And then someone walks in and there's like 20 urinals in a row. And that person decides to stand right next to you. Now, for starters, that's just so awkward when just like, you can stand anywhere. You've got the luxury of being able to go wherever you like. You want to stand next to me. Me and you. With our willies out. Looking at each other. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they, they always... You're, not, you're never the person that looks. But they're the person that looks. It's that little that little look. You know, the, the look. That little glance at your section. Um, but yeah, the, there's a time where like... I've been in there and I, I need to go up here. And I stand in there, and then someone stands next to me. And because I find that awkward, I can't cope. It's not like I start running out screaming, go, Mom! A man stood next to me! But it's just like, I can't pee. I can't pee in those situations. So I'm standing there, which I've been there for the past 10 seconds, and he walks in, and then I can't pee. So I'm just standing there, looking around, not at him, but just looking at myself or whatever. 
that's that sounds really weird just looking at myself um and then like i just nothing happens nothing comes out that's what she said um oh no no that's not a sexual innuendo but it's it's a innuendo uh okay um but yeah so then you you get this <coughs> excuse me see i'm still ill you get this picture that they're standing there thinking why is he just standing there like it's like I just go there and think, you know what, I don't need to pee, I'm just going to stand here with my penis out and stare at other people. Like, you get the idea that, you know, the person next to you thinks that of you, um, which is kind of awkward. So I'm standing there, I need to pee, but suddenly I, now I don't. And then the awkward bit is, you then have to leave or just wait it out until they leave. But they never tend to leave. They still stand there. They've been a pee, but they're still standing there. And so you think... I'm going to have to leave, I'm going to have to zip everything up, put everything away, and walk out of here, knowing you and them, they know you've not had a pee yet. That's just extremely awkward, and then that, I'm, I'm not an unhygiene person, but like, I don't always wash my hands, and I'm not the only one. Don't judge me. You, you, I guarantee you've walked out of there without washing your hands as well. But it's times when you're by yourself, and then you think, I'm not going to wash my hands, I'm just going to leave. And then you t start to leave, you walk past the sink, and then someone walks in at that exact time. And then they give you that that look. That, I know you've not washed your hands. I know, I can see the, the urine and the poo on your hands. You're like, I'm sorry, I know I've not washed my hands. Just, just leave me alone. And then, so you, you just suddenly walk back into the toilets and wash your hands and look at them and go, ha, Yeah, uh, this is the second time... I've washed my hands, <laughs> uh, but really, you've never washed your hands in your life. Dum dum dum. No, I have. I'm just not the best at it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just got like a little story which a friend told me. It's not one of those a friend told me, but it's really me. It was actually a friend told me. It's not really an awkward situation. Well, it is, but it's just a funny story about what happened in the toilet. This is gonna be the weirdest commentary I've ever done. Um, but I'm gonna say it quite quickly because I haven't got long but um it's just, I think yeah he he's fitted a new bathroom for the for a client and um and so he th th thinks you know what because I fitted this for them I'm gonna set it in and go for a poo in their new toilet uh, which which is fine but he said to me it was a brick like the bricks you can see right in front of you it was like that but obviously darker um but and then he said that how um when he needed to leave, like you know, when you know this, when you use too much toilet paper because you you think you know what I'm gonna really have a good clean, and then you use too much toilet paper, and then suddenly that horrible, horrible feeling when you pull the flush and instead of it going down, it goes up and up and up. But this was worse. He said that you know I'm a good good plumber, but this time it didn't go very well. Where the water, you know, where it stops rinsing out, it didn't stop. And it kept rising and it, it was overflowing. He said, oh man, my heart just sank. And um, so it's not clean water all over the floor either. This is, there's urine, there's a bit of poop. And he's standing in it. Um, and he said that he sorted out the toilet and everything. Um, but he's making all these noises. <laughs> and um, the people are going, you're right. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, fine, you know, just, just doing some stuff. And, um, and then he said, you know these situations where you're at rock bottom and you don't know what to do? and you think of the worst thing to do well he, uh, he said that basically the first thing that came into his head was that to grab t uh, clean towels and wipe up the floor with the clean towels and then the week later they said did you use the towels he was like no and uh, really did but that's all my stories i got to end up here it's going to be a black screen for you guys hopefully you enjoy the black screen uh, ran over time a little bit but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you've got any awkward situations you've been in then let me know um, Marcus, if you're watching this, hello. That sounds really gay. I'm sorry, just ignore. I just said that. Um, that sounds really gay. I I, I regret it already. But yeah, I think you've had enough of the black screen. I know I have. Have a very good day, guys. Leave a like if you want to. Helps me to know um, that you enjoy my channel and and thing. Um, have a good day, and I'll see you later, boy. Mm.